Meanwhile, on that sales tax, on that head tax from Seattle, how much would it take for you to relocate? Smaller cities and rural counties are willing to pay big bucks for workers. Jeff Flock joins us. He's in Marion, Indiana, with a lot more on that angle. Jeff, good morning. It's amazing almost, Maria. I'll tell you, they're building cabinets here in the Grant County, Indiana. The problem is they don't have enough cabinet makers. This is just one example of what's happening all across the country right now. There's a program here. This is Advanced Cabinet Systems, by the way. Maybe you see more cabinets being made. Uh, you can get up to $5,000 to buy a house. You can get up to 20% off your rent if you agree to come here and take a job. You got to be skilled, either a four year degree or an associate's degree or a technical certificate. Phil Bowers runs the company. You just can't get enough people. No, it's difficult. And uh, this Grant for Grads program has enabled us to get people to move here, and it's, it's really helped out a lot. Because unemployment, if you look at unemployment in Indiana compared to the national average, you know, it's, it's down there. Uh, you run the Grants for Grads program, yeah. uh, Victoria. Was this a hard sell? Because this is public money now. He's, he's making incentives, but so is the county. Yeah, uh, it's, the county is coming around to the idea because they see how much it really helps our local employers. And anything that we can do to help them thrive in this community is a good thing. Gotcha. Okay, I'll leave you with a picture of folks working, but they need more workers. You want to come to Grant County? We can give you a house. Maria? Wow, what a, what a tight labor market. Thank you so much, Jeff Flox.